Now I want to talk about governance. And governance here is is going to be um, really about lifecycle management, probably more than more traditional governance things. To lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 intranet and digital workplace? I want to talk about the typical things you do around the life cycle of these collections, right? A Microsoft Team, a SharePoint site, or like I said, even Facebook or other types of collections. So um, the first one is expiration and archiving policies. One of the benefits of having that provisioning framework that we described earlier is now we know about the space, right? We know, like I said, what department it relates to, et cetera. So now we can have different types of rules or business um, logic around expiration and archiving, around notifications, around you know who to escalate to when there's not responses. We can do things like detect duplicates literally without any technology. We don't need to use AI or something fancy here. You could just filter, show me all the HR sites, show me all the project HR sites. I bet you at a glance, you'd see that there's some duplication, right? Because because of those filters, it becomes really easy, not just for us to do it, but I'll come back to it later. But if we create this public directory based on that registry for end users to be able to identify duplication and reduce that. Um, this also reduces risks, right? Um, owners is a big one here, but there's more than owners, right? Uh, external sharing, confidentiality levels, things like that. We can actually denote those uh, pieces of information based on the metadata and even just management, and then we can take proactive actions on it. Um, some of that you can do with out of the box, but this becomes much easier when you can do more advanced targeting. Associating teams and sites to SharePoint hubs is something that we like to do a lot where we look at the, essentially again, which ones relate to which departments, et cetera. Why isn't this part of the hub, right? So if it's not part of a hub, maybe we send a quick email to note to them, hey, should this be part of the hub, right? Just as a proactive double check, because if it's not part of the hub, when you create news and other stuff, it's not gonna roll up, right? So, so these are things that you can do. Um, training material can be uh, targeted much more effectively because we can target it to project sites and have training material that's very different or very tailored to using projects or working on something else like working with customers. Um, and then the onboarding obviously um, with multiple examples I've given can be improved. Hey everyone. Thanks again for making the time today. Um, if you're watching the recording or attending the, uh, the live webinar, I will warn you, I tend to talk pretty fast and the content's gonna be pretty dense. The slides are already up available on SlideShare, but the recording and uh, other material can be grabbed uh, from the Orchestra website as a follow-up. 